Hello YouTube, I am Balázs Vajner, or if you prefer Blasius Secundus, and this is my first YouTube video. And in this first video I'd like to demonstrate a long-standing problem with Adobe Illustrator, which exists at least since Illustrator CS5, and I am using the latest version, Illustrator CC 17.1, and the problem still persists. And this problem is known as the blend tool not working with variable stroke profile. So here we have two lines on the two sides of the artboard and we have a blend applied to them. So you can see this is a nice blend, just as you would expect, but uh, only as long as each line has a uniform stroke applied to them. So if we go to the case two, where we have one uniform and one variable with stroke and just apply with the uh, stroke width tool uh, variation. So you can see that uh, the variation itself is not taken into account. Uh, it takes into account the overall width of the profile but not the variation itself. And the same things happen uh, if we use a variable profile on both lines. So you can see again the overall width is taken into account but uh, but the variation itself is not. So um, this is the problem and there is one workaround. I would not call it solution and, and this workaround is using the outline stroke command from the object menu. So I just apply again a variation and select both lines with object menu, select outline stroke, and you can see that it instantly takes uh, into account the, the variation. The problem with this workaround is that it is a destructive command, meaning that it destroys your initial line and it creates an outline shape, which in this case is not a big tragedy because it is such a simple shape, but if you have a complex profile, it will be nearly impossible to change it if you would need that uh, anytime. So if you want to change it, you have to start it all over again, or at least uh, from an intermediate state like uh, this first one here where we have uh, the two lines with a uniform profile and edit the profile again. Uh, to your likings, but um, this is a bit cumbersome to my taste and not necessarily uh, viable. Uh, so uh, you may ask, uh, why not use outline stroke as an effect which would do the same thing? So it creates the outline stroke, but it retains editability. So let's just try this again. And uh, go to layers panel and select uh, and select uh, each line individually and apply the outline stroke effect and it you, you can see that it does nothing so it's no effect which is strange because uh, other effects uh, are taken into account by the outline stroke, uh, by the blend tool. So, for example, if I apply zigzag, if I turn on preview, you can instantly see that uh, it takes it into account. So it starts with uh, 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 no zigzag line, and it gradually transitions into a very zigzag line. So, just you can see it better. I turn down the width, so you can see the zigzag is taken into account, but uh, the outline uh, but the outline stroke effect is not. So unfortunately, um, this would be a good solution since it is non-destructive and editable, but it is not working. So uh, this is the problem, and this is the question. So how to solve this problem? Is this a bug? 
or simply I have overlooked something. So thank you again for your comments and I await your solutions and ideas about this problem.